Hello everybody and welcome to this. This is our new playthrough of one of my favorite games growing up as a child. This is the Elder Scrolls 3. Specifically this is Morrowind. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, Elder Scrolls titles of all time. Um, I'm not saying necessarily that it's as good or better than um, Oblivion or Skyrim um, indeed. It is, you know, an old game. I think it's close, closing on 14 years now, um, but it is uh, an amazing game nonetheless, and it's one that I thoroughly enjoyed playing when I was younger, and one that I really am looking forward to playing for you guys now. Um, just so you know, we're not playing quite a vanilla game, um, as the old style graphics are probably maybe too hard for people to watch. Um, at this stage in the game. So what we actually are using is um, the Morrowind graphics and sound overhaul uh, which is an amazing little uh, set of mods. Uh, we've used the Morrowind code patch just to make sure that everything is completely up to date and makes the game a little bit more playable and uh, a couple of other graphical um, interface changes but other than that that is the only change that I've made to the game so from a gameplay point of view we are playing a vanilla game here and without further ado let's just get into it here we're going to be starting a new game so here we go So each event is preceded by... Oh, that moved a little bit too quickly. <laughs> In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born of a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Mm. Now anyone familiar with the Morrowind game? Stand up will immediately see differences you were dreaming. in how things look. What's okay? your name? I've got uh, subtitles on just so people obviously can see what um, the characters are saying. Unlike the later games, not all of this is um, voice acted. Quite a lot of it is going to be text driven. Uh, I'm going to do my best to read as much as possible to you guys, uh, which is something I haven't really done in any of my other playthroughs. But um, uh, quite a lot of the names in the game are very hard to pronounce and uh, some places and people's, or rather NPC's names, I'm just going to skim straight over because it's not that I can't attempt to try and pronounce them, but it's going to end up making the videos horrendously long if I'm constantly trying to pronounce a you know 25 character name so uh, in any case we will go over a couple of the um, differences in graphics just quickly before I obviously plumb in my name here one of the things is that they have um, an aspect ratio um, extender within the game what I mean by that is that it auto focuses much like your eyes would um, in real life when you're looking at something close, obviously the, the stuff in the background becomes out of focus, but if you then focus on the background, the stuff that's up close becomes out of focus. You see what I'm saying? So, and we're going to see that in um, practice once we get off this boat. But, for now, let's name our character Standard Balanfor. There we go. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. This guy's been working out, clearly. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. So, okay, so at the moment, uh, th again, this is a bad example, but you can see these guys are in focus, and the majority of this area is in focus, but the back really isn't in focus. If I just click OK here, and then move to the back, the cursor, you'll see that the back goes in focus, and these guys will become out of focus. So two seconds. Can you see that? He's still in Better focus at the moment, say. but Jib, the guy on the left of us, is out of focus. If I move into focus with him, 
he becomes in focus and everything else is out of focus. It's really, really good. So it's a much different, almost real life uh, way of playing. So let's just move off here. At the moment we have no UI. Uh, we don't know what our character is. I can't go into third person mode. Um, Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Yeah, okay mate, chill out. So, we're going to say Danine now. Here we go. So there you go, here's the outside and... Alright, it's not Skyrim. But it's a lot better than it looked 14 years ago, believe you me. And back 14 years ago, it was probably cutting edge technology back then as well. That looks amazing. Yeah, I'm... Nostalgia's kicking in. I'm can't wait to play this game again. Right, let's this talk to this guy. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. So look, he's in focus, everything else is out of focus. If I look at the big tick looking thing in the background, that's a silt strider. Let's go. Move it along. There you go. It's in focus, he's out of focus. Oh, I'm so loving these patches. Okay, here we go. We finally arrived, but our records don't show us anywhere. Well, we wouldn't be playing Morrowind if we weren't playing as a dark elf. Um, I will just go over the uh, other races that we have available to us. We have Argonian, it's a type of reptile race. A Breton, uh, heavy on magic. Dark Elf, obviously High Elf, again another magic based race. Imperial, a uh, human race. Uh, they're quite the kind of thief style but also thrown in with a little bit of warrior. Kajit, another of the beast races, this is like a cat. Uh, the Nords, I think of them like Vikings, basically. Orcs, um, many people consider these another of the beast races, uh, but everyone knows what an Orc is. Redguard, the, uh, <laughs> excuse me if this seems racist, but the token black man in uh, the RPG series, you know. Uh, and finally, Wood Elf, which are little midgets. Um, <laughs> And they're like the thieves, basically, of the area as well. But we're going to be playing as a dark elf. So, uh, sex, we're going to leave him as male. Uh, and I'm just going to do the hair first. And we're going to go for... Oh, that's nice and easy. There are quite a few options, but we're going to go for a top knot here. Like that, so that works for me. And then I'm just going to pick out the face that looks best with that hair. I think... That last one looked okay. Let's just keep going through, though. I don't want a scabby-looking guy. Or, or one that looks too evil. Uh, actually, that looks kind of cool. With the tattoo. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm liking that. Okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. This is looking absolutely spectacular for a 14-year-old game. And look, they've got some uh, new animations in here as well. This guy's fishing. This never used to be here. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go on inside. Uh, one of the things that people have to bear in mind is the gameplay in terms of combat etc in this game compared to Oblivion and Skyrim is vastly different. Um, you have your usual things like health, mana and stamina, uh, or fatigue in fact, but um, it was very dice based in terms of whether you hit and it wasn't until you were determined whether you'd hit uh, an enemy in melee that it then determined how much damage you did and uh, because of this you're going to end up seeing me swinging a sword or an axe or whatever we end up using uh, and missing quite a bit. Um, but that is the way it was back then and uh, I decided I wasn't going to change the way it was so we can get uh, the best playthrough possible. So let's talk to this old guy here. Ah uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. Fair enough. There are a few ways we can do this and the choice is yours. Okay, so back in the day you could generate a class based on uh, giving him answers to questions and based on the answers to the questions you gave it would uh, 
you know, automatically give you a class, and then you could decide whether you actually wanted to be that class or not. You can um, pick from a class list, or you can fill out the forms yourself. Now we're going to fill out the forms uh, immediately. I know I don't want to be called an adventurer. Uh, we're going to call ourselves a Jack of all trades. Okay. We're going to be specializing in combat. We're going to take strength as a favored attribute. We're also going to take, uh, this is going to be uh, one for you Morrowind uh, fans out there. You're probably going to find this quite strange why I do this. We're going to take luck. Now the reason I say we're going to take luck is twofold. Luck, to begin with, um, it says there it affects every action you do in a small way. It is actually a vast way. Um, it can determine a lot of whether you're successful or not in this game and a plus 10 point luck bonus at the beginning of the game is a vast improvement. Um, when you level up you can increase your stats based on how many times you've leveled your skills um, anywhere between one and five times. Okay, But luck is the only attribute that does not um, get a bonus based on the skills that you're um, leveling up. So. To get 10 points at the very beginning of the game is a massive step forwards and we will be trying to increase luck further. By doing this I'm going to start with 50 luck and that effectively means that I've got precisely a half and half chance of succeeding at the majority of things that we do in the game. Okay, So that's why I've gone for that. Strength is going to help us um, to increase our starting health um, and as you see there the maximum fatigue and how much we do in um, melee damage but also how much we can carry. In terms of major skills we're going to have block most definitely we're going to go for heavy armor, uh, long blade, I want uh, restoration in here most definitely and then one other and I think we are going to go for let's have a look here um, mm. Do, 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 do. Let us go for, let's go marksman, okay, and then minor skills we're going to go destruction, I think we're going to go conjuration, uh, let's go block over here, let's go alchemy, yeah that's looking good, and finally, and really I should probably think about taking another weapon, um, oh no, what am I talking about, we need security, definitely, definitely security. Have I gone and made a boo-boo here? Why have I got spear? That was block, wasn't it? Okay, let's um, instead put speechcraft. Do I want speechcraft as a major? Do I want speechcraft as a major? Yeah, okay, fine. Let's go speechcraft. So that's going to be our jack of all trades character. We've got block, heavy armor, long blade restoration marksman. Uh, so block is the uh, ability to block more with a shield. Okay, heavy armor that kind of um, says you know everything for itself. Long blade, of course, is are going to be our main staple melee. Uh, restoration is in order for us to heal ourselves. Marksman, well, again, that's the use of bows, crossbows, throwing stars, throwing knives. Fantastic. Okay, destruction is our flame-based spells or electricity-based spells, uh, basically our damage spells. Okay, Conjuration is going to allow us to conjure up um, other denizens to help us fight, and uh, this game is actually very, very uh, difficult. It's probably one of the most difficult role-playing games to get into as a starting character, so Conjuration is really going to help us. Speechcraft, uh, in order to get around some of the personality challenges in the game. Alchemy so that we can at least make some potions to help us heal and get our mana back and etc etc so on and so forth. And finally security um, so we can as you know open doors and containers and get as much loot as possible whilst we're in dungeons etc. So there we go. Okay. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. 
Yep. And what would that be? Okay, so as anyone who's played the Elder Scrolls games before will know, we also get to pick a birth sign. And they're very different from the ones from Oblivion and, in fact, the ones from um, Skyrim as well. So we are actually going to pick what I like, which is the Lady here. And the reason for that is it gives us the biggest boost of abilities at the beginning of the game. We can fortify our personality by a further 25 points and endurance by a further 25 as well. There we go. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Okay. So, here we go. We have Name, Valenfor, Dark Elf, Jack of All Trades, and our birth sign is the Lady. We have starting health of 45 health. That's not too bad. I have seen higher, but that's not bad at all. 40 Magicka. Again, not great, but um, we're not really going to be doing an awful lot of casting, so that's fine. Fatigue, 185, that's quite nice as well. Strength of 50, luck of 50, personality of 55, endurance of 65, speed of 50, agility of 40, and intelligence and willpower 40 and 30, respectively. We're going to be able to get those up very quickly, okay? Um, probably not in this episode, but we will get that up very sh uh, quickly, so I'll explain that later. Block, starting at 35, Heavy Armor 35, Long Blade 40, Restoration 30, Marksman 35, and then our minor skills of Destruction, Conjuration, Speechcraft, Alchemy and Security, in order, 25, 15, 15, 15, and 15. And then all of our MISC skills. Now, our MISC skills we can level up, and it will enable us to gain bonuses to increase these, as I was saying, anywhere from 1 to 5, but they don't add towards our level up if that makes sense if we um, for example leveled hand to hand uh, by five points in any of the other Elder Scrolls games that would place us one two three four five towards our next level that's not how it works in this one okay and finally we've got our abilities here we've got resist fire that's a passive 75% are two um, fortifies personality and endurance there. Uh, Ancestor Guardian, that's a spell that we can cast once a day. Uh, it gives us something called Sanctuary at 50 points for 60 seconds. Um, it's a, essentially like a dodge. It will allow us to dodge um, incoming uh, missiles, melee and uh, I think spells as well actually. But It's quite a nice spell but I can't see us casting it very often. Maybe at the very beginning of the game. Uh, and then spell wise we've got Half Heal a really really powerful healing spell to begin with and firebite this is does fire damage 15 to 30 points on touch okay so if someone gets a bit too close to us we can touch them we're going to do a bit of fire damage so we now have our stats menu it's down here I believe now we can also view the information that was what we were looking at before right clicking allows you to uh, use your menus when you are done with them right click again to close them Okay. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. There's our papers. And read your papers by pressing spacebar while looking at them and then take the take to pick them up. So, for release by Imperial Imperial <laughs> Emperor Uriel Septim the seventh decree to the district of Ardenfell in the province of Morrowind. My name, my race, my class, and signed Socius Ergala. Agent of Sadenine, Imperial Census and Excise, 16th of the Last Seed, 3rd Era, 427, okay. And we now have an inventory menu where we can see what we're carrying, fine. Uh, like all menus, right clicking to use your new menu, you can click and move objects from the world to your inventory, okay, fine. Thank you. And we can go through here. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celus Gradius. Okay, Celus Gradius. Okay, fine. I'm going to shut that door behind me. And we're now going to loot these guys completely blind. Take absolutely everything that they have to offer here. So, uh, like the bread here. Uh, you can eat ingredients by equipping them on your character in the inventory menu. Ingredients have different properties. Some may hurt you and some may help. Okay, that's fine. There we go. I'm not going to take the paper or the basket. It's not really worth much. Uh, let's take the dagger though. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave the note. Take the bread and the silverware. Yeah, the knife, the fork, the plate, the crab meat. What's this? Flynn? Yes, most definitely. Silverware pitcher, silverware bowl. Let's take the candlestick. And this here is a journeyman's lockpick. We'll definitely take that. What's in here? Basket. Let's take all these ingredients. This one here. 
all these ingredients as well. We've got the firmament, which provides us with the star signs of Tamriel and an explanation for each one. I won't go through this. Everyone by now should know these star signs, so let me take that book there. Uh, let's take things of value. So the pewter candlestick, I'm not bothered about the bottle. We'll take the mats or mates and the redware and the silverware. Uh, the redware flasks and the large Kwama egg. Let's have a look at our inventory here. And I want to quick equip certain things. So the apprentice's lockpick. Um, unfortunately, I can't quite remember how to quick equip, which is annoying. Uh, do I hit F? No. Do I hit? <sighs> okay. Let's just put that on then. I'll work that out later. Get into stealth. No, a lot pick failed, really. Hey, there we go. Third time lucky. And we got all of one... Is that one coin? 31 coins. I hope it's 31. Okay. Let's put that away. Open this up. What have we got in here? Probably some more ingredients. Let's hope so. What's this? Glass bottle? Nope, we'll leave that. What's in here? That's a glass bottle as well. Brilliant. Nothing in this one. Some uh, alchemy ingredients there. Alchemy ingredients there. So we're going to be able to make some potions, which is quite nice. Um, and a couple of buckets. I'm not going to take the buckets. I will, however, take the torch. Because we're going to be going to some pretty dark areas um, fairly soon. Right, let's head on out back into Sedanine. Trees over there, nice shadows. Okay, so we now have a map. It shows you the name of the place you're in and directions you are facing. You can see that at the bottom right-hand corner. So we're now pointing north, south, west, and east. Okay. We have a barrel here. The barrel has our first quest item in. It's an engraved ring of healing. That's going to say that we now have a magic item and when we see all your powers, spells, and magic items uh, within our magic menu. Okay? Uh, like all menus, right clicking on them to uh, have a look at our new menu. Click the spell or magic item you want to make our active magic item and press R to ready your active magic and click to cast. Okay? So, engraved ring of healing is there. We can do that. Ah! Uh, and R actually does a quick cast now because uh, that is a slight change in the game. That's going to help us to uh, do quite a lot of uh, casting actually. So two seconds. To, I just need to clear my voice. Clear my throat, should I say? Sorry. Press spacebar to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask about them. Don't try to uh, don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. Um, fine. Okay. So, okay, so he says, first let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Release identification has been removed from your inventory. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I am here to welcome you to Morrowind. These bits that are in blue allow me to click and we get a little bit more information. So, I am Celis Gravius, Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. Fine, what about Morrowind? Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from the Emperor, uh, Emperor Uriel Septon VII himself. I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are free, but before you go, I have instructions of your duties, instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. Let's just find out a little bit more about Uriel Septon. Uh, Uriel Septim is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorised your release from prison and your delivery here. It's all very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence, secrecy. Let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Okay, fair enough. What about the Empire? Yes, of course, this is the Empire. This is Vardenfell district of the province of Morrowind. Morrowind has been part of the Empire for over 400 years. The current Emperor is Uriel Septim, 24th of the Septim Lime. You haven't been in prison that long, have you? <laughs> Nothing wrong with your head, is there? The men said you were acting a little strange when they brought you from the ship. No, no, everything is quite all right with my head, thank you very much. What are our duties then, please, Celis Gravius? 
Okay, so he's given us a package apparently. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Chaos Crusades in the town of Balmora. Uh, quite a few people I've noticed say Crusades or Corsades. Uh, Chaos Corsades is how I pronounce it. And hey, who knows if I'm right or wrong. Uh, in the town of Balmora. Okay, that's quite important. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Chaos Corsades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. And I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. So, okay, we've got a journal entry. We have directions to Chaos Crusades and package for him as well. And 87 gold. So we've got a little bit of gold now as well. Let's just uh, ask a couple more questions here before we um, finish off for today. Chaos Crusades, what do you have to say for him? Report to him in Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you can go to the Southwell Corner Club and ask for him somewhere there. Okay, that's much what he said up there. And Balmora? It's north of Sedanine. Fine. The road passes Pelagade. Oh. Pelagiade. P Pelag... Pelagiai. Do you know what? I always used to call it Pelagade, and uh, I'm not going to actually stop. <laughs> it's not actually how it's spelt, but that's just how I used to pronounce it. So, the road passes Pelagade Village, and Fort Pelagade crosses a deep ravine, pa um, passes Fort Moonmoth, and then turns west across the Odai River and into Balmora. Southwall Corner Club is in the southeast of Balmora on the east side of the river. For more detailed directions, talk to Alone the Scout at Ariel's Trade House here in Saden Inn. But take my advice, you're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap and safe. Cross the bridge and head east. You can't miss it. Uh, Silt Striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Val uh, Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be travelled. Silt Striders are giant insects. You know, like giant ticks compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell and the driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. Mm, nice. Silk striders travel between Aldrun, Balmora, Sedanine, Saran, Gnissis, Kul, Mologmar, Margan, or Margan should, should I say, and North Landing near Vivek. Okay, fine. And that's quite a few places he's just mentioned there. I will say goodbye. Thank you, you very much. Friend? Uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. So let's head on out into Sedanin proper. Uh, so press J to see our journal and review what you've been told. You could probably check out Ariel's trade house up on the left, and you're on your own. Good luck. Brilliant. Okay, so we are literally on our own here. Um, there is a hall of bugs and fixes. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, I'm just going to imagine that doesn't exist. And here we are, we're in lovely Sedanine, a swampy little town in the middle of nowhere, pretty much. Um, and guys, this is where we're going to end friend. for... Shush, thank you for that. This is where we're going to end for our first episode ever of our Morrowind series, but I really hope you've enjoyed this the beginning episode of a fairly long Let's Play. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for some more of our Morrowind playthrough. But until then, take care.